Welcome to this webinar series, which is on substance misuse training. This is the second part in this webinar series, and I'm Dr. Krisha Patel. In this session, we're going to define what a unit of alcohol is. So a unit of alcohol, it's a simple way of saying how much pure alcohol is in the drink. It's defined as 10 mils or eight grams of pure alcohol. And there's only two pieces of information that we need to work out how many units there are in a drink. So we need to know the percentage of alcohol content and the volume of the drink. So if I drink 8% lager, and if I drink 1000 mils of this lager, to work out how much pure alcohol there is in this, I have to work out 8% of 1000 mils, and that works out as 80 mils of pure alcohol. And as I've already mentioned, 10 mils is defined as one unit. So 80 mils is equal to eight units. So I'd like you to now work out how many units are in this bottle of vodka. So let's say I drank this whole bottle of vodka. If you're struggling to see it's a 40% alcohol vodka and it's one litre bottle. So going back to the calculation, think about how many units are in this one litre vodka at 40% alcohol concentration. Pause the video and do your calculation. We work out 40% of 1000 mils and that's equal to 400 mils. As already mentioned in the previous slide, one unit is defined as 10 mils of pure alcohol. Therefore, 400 mils of pure alcohol is equal to 40 units. So one unit is 10 mils of pure alcohol or eight grams of pure alcohol. The only two bits of information that you need to calculate how many units are in the bottle are the volume which is one litre or 1,000 mils, and the percentage of alcohol concentration. That's the percentage, 40% of pure alcohol in that bottle. So another example I'd like you to work out, how many units are in a 25 mil shot of this vodka? Pause the video and do your calculation. We just need to work out 40% of 25 mils, which is 10 mils, and as I've already mentioned, 10 mils is one unit of alcohol. Therefore, a shot of 25 mils, 40% vodka, is one unit of alcohol. We don't always need to work out the units in a bottle. The packaging of the bottle will usually tell you how many units are in that can or in that whole bottle. And there are many guides out there which can tell you rough or approximate units in a bottle of strong beer or a bottle of wine. This is just a standard guide. So a bottle of wine will typically contain nine units if it's 12 and a half percent. A normal beer half pint at four percent is about one unit of alcohol. So this is a table we'll look at instead of actually working out the alcohol content by doing the calculation. So we'll, we'll look at this and somebody will tell us they have sort of three bottles of wine in a week, and you can calculate three bottles of wine in a week is three times nine, which is 27 units of alcohol a week. What is the government sensible drinking limits recommended for men and women per week as per NHS guidance? Is it A, 21 units for men and 14 units for women? Is it B, 14 units for men and women? Or is it C, 21 units for men and women? The correct answer is B. The NHS guidance used to be the safe limit for men is 21 units and the safe limit for women is 14 units. The guidance has changed and that changed a few years ago. So both men and women are advised not to drink more than 14 units of alcohol in a week on a regular basis. You should spread your drinking over three or more days if you regularly drink as much as 14 units a week. And this is a very useful table taken from the NHS website. It gives us a guide of how many units are in a typical drink, so in a typical bottle of wine or in a typical alcopop. 
And if you can calculate how many units your client is having in a week, then you can work out which risk category they fall into. So the lowest risk group or the lower risk group would be the group here that says men and women should not regularly drink more than 14 units in a week spread out over three or more days. If people are drinking more than that, so for men, if they're drinking between 15 and 50 units per week, and for women, if they're regularly drinking between 15 and 35 units per week, they're in the increasing risk category. And if they're drinking for men more than 50 units in a week, and for women more than 35 units in a week, then they are in the higher risk category. And if you look at this section here, it tells you that somebody in the increasing to higher risk category is at progressively increasing risk of various problems such as low energy, relationship problems, depression, insomnia, so these are sort of mental health problems. There's also physical health problems like impotence, accidental injury, high blood pressure, dependence, liver disease, and one that many people don't realize, gastrointestinal cancer, so breast, mouth and throat cancers. This is also a very useful thing to read. So there's no completely safe level of drinking and drinking even small amounts of alcohol can incur risk in certain circumstances. For example, if you're using strenuous exercise, operating heavy machinery or driving, there's no completely safe level of drinking. The NHS guidance also states that if you are pregnant or planning a pregnancy, the safest approach is not to have any alcohol at all because drinking in pregnancy can harm the baby, with the more you drink, the greater the risk. The risk of harm to the baby is likely to be low if a woman has drunk only small amounts of alcohol before she knew she was pregnant or during pregnancy.